Hey guys, so today we're gonna to talk about how to use the basic features on a digital multimeter. Uh, this is the MM6000 digital multimeter that we have right here. Um, you can tell at first glance it's got a lot of features on it and it's very intimidating. So real quick, I'm just gonna go over what those features are. Uh, check back with Tradesman TV for more in-depth on every single one of those features. So a typical multimeter needs to measure three things, voltage, resistance, and uh, current, which is measured in amperage. So in this meter, if you wanted to measure voltage, you've got your first two selections right here. You've got voltage AC, voltage DC. Your next selection is going to be resistance. And what you'll notice is there's a couple secondary functions underneath that selection. So in order to get to those, you turn to that selection. And then you're going to press the orange button to select through and cycle through the different features. Now continuing on, we've got low impedance. We've got frequency and duty cycle. Some models have temperature where you can measure in both Fahrenheit and Celsius. And then you've got your current functions. You've got uh, microamps and milliamps and amperage. Now the most important thing to remember is when you're measuring, uh, particularly the amperage settings, you have two different jacks down here. And you need to make sure that you're, you're in the corresponding jack. Uh, you'll also notice on the voltage side, you've got a couple uh, indications there of where you need to place the leads. So typically your comm is always going to be in your black and then your red lead is actually going to move around depending on the selection that you're in. And that's basically it. That's a real basic overview of the multimeter and that's a real basic uh, uh, understanding of, of, of kind of some of the base features of a digital multimeter. Uh, again, check back with Tradesman TV for more in-depth uh, overviews on every single one of these features.